pipeline itself that's on fire. It's owned by a company, Energy Transfer. Now, they may not be a household name, but a major player here in the oil and gas sector in Texas. The 13 Investigates team is looking into this company and this pipeline. Our Kevin Ozebeg joins us now with more. Well, Myra, Dallas-based Energy Transfer boasts on its website that it owns and operates more than 125,000 miles of pipeline all across the U.S. And it was this specific natural gas pipeline that runs near Spencer Highway and East Meadow Drive that caught fire today. Now, we have asked the company how long this 20-inch wide pipeline runs, and so far, no answer just yet. But we do know this. It's just one of the many, many pipelines that all run alongside each other underground through this section of Deer Park. And what you're looking at right now is a Railroad Commission of Texas map showing all of the pipelines in this area. Now, some of the biggest names in oil and gas like Shell and Chevron have, have pipelines in this corridor, too. Now, the last time we know of an energy transfer pipeline fire in our area was back in 2022. Two years ago, it threw flames 300 feet into the air just west of Fort Bend County. No one was injured in that blast. Today, the 13 investigate team has been pouring over federal and state records to learn more about energy transfers history. We found no notable records from the Railroad Commission, which does regulate oil and gas here in Texas. We've also found no TCEQ violations against this company. But we did find a 2022 OSHA violation against energy transfer. OSHA slapped it with a more than $14,000 fine for not making one of its Louisiana workplaces free of hazards. Back here in Texas and back to the developments of today, the Railroad Commission says its pipeline safety inspectors are investigating. So, of course, we will be tracking that investigation as it unfolds. Live in the studio, Kevin Ozbeck, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.